do it. Hi guys, good morning. It is 12.42 and I quite literally just woke up. Not really just like woke up out of bed, but I took a shower this morning and my mom had a phone call with my sister-in-law's mom about the real, about the bridal shower because the shower that we had at board and brush was just for um like connecticut family it didn't have her fa like really any of her family in it at all um so they were doing stuff to do with the bridal shower and then i went in there and i was like oh i'm just gonna go take a nap before we have to go to get my aunt, and uh, here we are. So we're on our way to get my aunt, and um, I'll talk to you guys when we do that. Wait, so it is 1.52, and we um, just got to my grandma's because we had to pick up my aunt and drive her to my grandma's because she is staying over with my grandma. Um, I didn't know the plan. We just had something to do with my aunt and driving and whatever. So we're at my grandma's. But speaking of my grandma, I wanted to share a video that's kind of hard for me to watch um, just because it has her voice in it. And I haven't heard her voice in a long time and I miss her voice. Um, her real voice, you know, she does speak a little bit now, but it's not anything coherent. Um, but this video is from three years ago, and, uh, I want to share it with you now. So I will, and then I'll be back. Hold on. Are you going to hang with me during the snowstorm? Where? Here. Of course. Okay, cool. Hey. Anyway. Anyway. I mean, I'm glad I have the video because I'm glad that I can watch it whenever I want to. But sometimes those things are triggering for me because, you know, ultimately I know what dementia has stolen from her. And, um, I don't know. <sighs> but I just gotta breathe. And I just gotta realize that she is 89 years old and she will pass away one day. And that she does have this illness, but it, it, it may have stolen some memories from her. And it may have kept me from creating some memories with her. But I still have the memories of, like, my childhood and, like, my teen years with her. So I just need to breathe and just know that everything will be okay. And just try to take it one day at a time. And, uh, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. It's very gloomy, gloomy day outside. What are you guys up to today? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know. Are you outside? It's getting sunnier, but the ground is all muddy. Oh my God, the rain was blue. Yeah. Your feet are gonna be muddy, come on. Hi. Next week, room. Yeah, you're getting groom on Wednesday. Oh, did that branch fall? Uh, the other day. Oh. Hi. 
Good girl. Come on. Let's go see the other kids. All my flowers are coming up. Let me see what those are. Here, take the camera. No. Hopi. Hi, Hopi. Wow, it's amazing because I really feel like that stuff didn't start growing until just now. <clears throat> Who knows what's going to grow because of the diggers? She doesn't dig. No, but Maddie does. Oh. And the squirrels do. The chipmunks do. Maddie heard her name and she started barking. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. So we're on my tripod. No. But they don't judge me. So it's fine. It's not judge, it's just personal character. I know. So we're on my tripod because we're going to go outside and I want to set you guys up so I can film outside. Gotcha. You got it from there? Yeah. Where's Hope? Is she in the back? She might be. Don't go down that hill. Oh no, she's under the tree. Yeah. Oh, good girl. Good girl staying in the yard. Good girl. I mean, she knows how to stay in the yard, but I always just want to praise her for doing what she's supposed to do because. There's all different smells and different cars and people. Good job, Hopi. You guys want to see her? come for the dogs and you tolerate me. So here is Sully. And there is Hopi. And I wanted to show you guys. This is our flagpole. And we have the American flag and we have an Irish flag and if you go down this walkway we have a shamrock which I think I'm gonna make my thumbnail of this video okay so Maddie Maddie do you want to come out or go in So anyway, you guys are sitting on something on my tripod so I can film. Um, but yeah, I was just um, watching some of the coronavirus coverage um, on the news because it's kind of everywhere. It's all over Facebook and it's all over Instagram and, you know, all that stuff. Um, and it kind of has me nervous because I do have a low immune system due to some of my illnesses. Um, but it's okay, just taking the precautions, like not going to huge um, places. And it's making me wonder if the concerts 
that I have planned are going to be canceled. Um, because one of them for Kesha is in May. That's in May. And then another one is in September that I have planned. So I don't know if that's going to be canceled. But I'm just waiting to find out. Um, I'm still going to go. Because I think by that point, everyone should be healthy, hopefully. Um, but it's not like I'm going to forfeit the ticket because I paid a lot of money for them. And I got handicap seats for both shows. And I know some of you know how much of a struggle that can be. So I'm still going to go and enjoy. But I'm going to take precautions. But that's days away. That's like weeks and months away. <clears throat> for my, now, excuse me. But, um, makes me kind of nervous for my grandmother because she has caregivers and nurses and, you know, music therapists and people who come in and out all the time. So, obviously, she's at greater risk because she... She can have um, somebody wipe her hands, but she can't wash her hands by herself because she just can't do that. But, um, you know, it's okay. And then I wanted to update you guys on some other stuff. Um, I have made the decision to go to the St. Patrick's Day party tomorrow. Um, because I just want to go, I'm going to go for a little bit, um, I'm not going to go inside, so if it's like this weather is right now, um, then I will stay outside in the backyard because they have a backyard that's, that's set up with like a patio and whatever, so I'm going to stay there. And, you know, just eat some food and, you know, stay there for a little bit. My mom said that a good plan for us, or for me, is to go in my power chair and take the van. That way, you know, I could recline back and just chill out in the sun if I wanted to, you know. So, yeah. Um... Also, I um, wanted to also give you an update on the search for a new mental health therapist. Um, like I said in my previous video, my current therapist is leaving and she said that she was going to refer me to one of her co-workers or her like co yeah co something that like work in the same office but I think I've made the decision that I'm gonna leave that space altogether because this is just like perfect timing because like you know as much as people say it's just the therapist like I have had this woman for over a year and you know I don't really want to be reminded of the same place that I used to go just to see you know somebody else because that'll be like well you know in the past I've done this or you know so and so used to give advice like this and you know I want like a new um fresh start so to do that I was uh looking at some therapy um contacts that I already have and I had texted one of the um therapy contacts that I had I used to do that horse therapy if you guys remember um back in the fall I used to do it until it got too cold and then we stopped because of the winter time um but it turns out that hope leave it Good girl. Leave it.
Good girl. That's it. Leave it. Good girl. Anyway, it turns out that she's full, of course. So, that always seems to happen to me, right? Something always seems to happen like that. But it's okay, because we're just going to keep pressing on. I have a few other contacts that I could talk to. Good girl! Good girl, Hope! That's it. Good girl. I don't even know what you saw. I couldn't see what you saw. Anyway, um, but I am a little apprehensive with starting over with somebody new, but, um, we'll figure it out. We always do. But like I said, I think for now I'm going to take a little bit of a break, which is good. And I'm going to obviously put to work the skills and strategies that I have learned that I can put to use and then we'll see where it takes us you know it's a beautiful day outside it's so sunny this reminds me of when I um, first got the power chair almost like two years I want to say like two years ago because I got it right before we went to Vegas, and that was in 2018, and we're in 2020, so that was two years ago, and we got it in the fall, so I remember riding around, and this area all had Christmas lights on it, and they would come out, come on at around, like, 4 p.m. and I remember just, um, you know, driving around in the power chair and the dogs would come out and play in the snow and, you know, now it's like two years later and I'm a little bit better at driving this and we have a van now that we can take at places like the mall or, you know, family parties or, you know, just doctor's appointments or different type of things, um, you know, uh, so, yeah, but I like the, I like the spring, good girl, Hope, you're just looking, but you're not making any noise, oops, 20% little battery, guess I better get back inside to charge my phone. But, um, yeah. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Good girl. Leave it. (gasps) Your ears are blowing in the wind. Your ears are blowing. (laughs) I realized that I... I've realized that I have enough footage for today. I need to go charge my phone because it's at like 13%. So I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye. Oh, and tomorrow there will be a early St. Patrick's Day vlog because tomorrow is our family's St. Patrick's Day party. So the day that you're watching this, there will be a party. Yay!